my guys, my guys actually did this. When we sold the place, we rewired all the motors. We re we re we rewired my big motors with with copper wire. We wired everything with copper. Put a whole new line in everything, so it worked and it, lo it looked like it worked. And they could turn it on and go, and it worked for them. And when we sold it, and what my guys did actually is they took a gold a gold brick. And they went over to the small one. They went bloop and put it in the in the small one. And then they put in some material on top. And then they went and then they turned on the little one. And they went and they so there's a little bit of gold in the bottom. But they didn't let see it would work. It would it would smelt. It would melt rock no problem. And it would get up to a certain amount of temperature. And then if you kept on going, you would have to shut it off. And if you kept on going, it would fry the wire. So they did it. And they used all, and they and they got it working and everything else like that. And then so when they sold it, it was like, yep, it works. Because, because, because like I said, these people were already telling everybody around that they had discovered how to make gold. And they were going to show everyone how they made gold in a few weeks. So my people already knew what they were planning. They already knew that, that, that they were going to steal it from me and say that they had made the gold and just fuck me over. And, and my people. And my people were like, we're not going to get fucked over. You're not going to get fucked over. You know, we're not going to let this let, let them steal it. Because my people were pissed, too. Because my people were, were there, too. Anyway, so so they put the gold in. They melted it down. They did a little salting of their own. <laughs> so anyways, so on, on the TV, it showed them making the gold and everything. Uh, but anyway, they still got a lot of... Actually, no, I think they said, well, you got to clean it out first before you film it. So, so I think that's what they did. They, they didn't want them to get it on camera. So they said, well, you got to clean it out first. So you better get what, what gold is in there right now out of it. So before they got it on camera, I think, because we had it on camera coming out as gold. So I think, uh, I, I think they made sure that they drained it. So I think that's right. They did a test showing anyway, but they drained out their gold anyway. And then they put more gold in it. Like, they had everybody there. They're like, all right, we're going to show you. And so they, so they do it. And, and like I say, they can't get the gold. They're like, where's the gold? It's like, well, maybe it takes longer. Come back in a couple weeks. Anyway, uh, and then they start having the frying problem where, where they finally get to the same idea that maybe the temperatures just aren't high enough. Or maybe the time, they need to wait longer. Anyway, they never get it. They never get it. And they, think, and they say, well, maybe it must be a... It must be a <laughs> and I think I might have thrown them off. I said, well, maybe the granite, maybe you need a different kind of rock. Maybe I was importing some rock. <laughs> I was not helping them. I was bad. I was really bad. I was like, I was like, well, I was importing some rock. So, you know, my people handle all that, you know, so, but we didn't import And my people were like, we didn't import no rock. What are you talking about? I was like, well, I'm not going to help them. Anyway, yeah. Anyway, you know, they knew that they, they, they're going to, they're going to just screw me over for all of it anyway. But anyway, still, I built the Titanic and all kinds of cool stuff, so. Anyway, and then I did a lot of other things, so, and I was epic. Anyway, and then I created all kinds of life forms and all kinds, of, well, actually, no, I had already created a lot of life forms, that's right, they were, they were always contesting everything I had ever done, saying I wasn't a creator, I wasn't the first one to discover gold, I wasn't the one who built the SR-71, I wasn't the one who did anything. Because they wanted to kill me and, and just cover me up. Anyway, if that ain't disrespect, I don't know what is. So. Anyway, oh well. That's life, as they say. But still, that's the secret to gold. So my people were just waiting for me to actually say it on video. So everyone could hear it from me, personally. Before they told them how they did it and showed them. So anyway. They might have eventually figured it out, but probably not. Anyway, but that's why I have Fort Knox and all the white buildings. And that's why I have the giant, I have four giant SR-71 Blackbirds, all made out of titanium. I mean, eight, 16 or something like that. I have like eight or 16. I think I have eight SR-71s. I had four and four or something. Anyway, or something like that. Anyway, quite a few SR-71s. Yeah, because I, I think I had four single cockpit and four dual cockpit. Anyway, they were all built about 500 years ago. Um, nobody has built an SR-71 recently. The most they did was clean out the fuel lines and, and get mine running again. 
they're 500 years old and they crashed two or three of them they crashed one of them because because like i said they tried to use normal tires but the normal tires got up to about 180 or something miles an hour or something like that. and they went on they were taking off when they blew out and they're trying to pull it up but it didn't work it went, the drag from the from the metal and the landing gear was too much and it just and i think they lost the whole aircraft or something like that or they they want they, they melted it down for money anyway because they wanted I don't know anyway whatever they crashed three two or three of them one of them one of them the fuel line clogged the the they didn't clean out the whole system they just cleaned out what they could get to they didn't actually like take they they didn't actually like take all the lines out and flush out all the lines properly so the fuel the jet one of the the jets clogged on one of the one of the engines so they lost an engine one time too. Um, I think that, that, that was, that might've been the first time. I don't know. One of the times they had the tire, you know, they crashed like two or three of them. So 500 year old aircraft, thousand year old aircraft. And they crashed three of them. Literally priceless. Anyway. Yeah. Lockheed never made a damn thing. They made an aluminum one. And not even that. Everyone was like, that's aluminum. That's not even, you can't do that with, um, because they showed them, and they actually even showed them welding it and stuff like that. It's like, anyway, whatever, whatever. I think they showed them like like, like using a using an arc welder. Like, and this is how you weld titanium together. And everyone was like, "What the fuck?" Because I'm serious. The video was longer, and then they cut it shorter because it just looked so obviously that they were lying about everything. Anyway, you, you should go back and look at it. But yeah, Lockheed never did that. Not even Boeing made the SR-71. Lockheed nor Boeing made the SR-71. It was actually made in Germany. Like, they, they wondered if it maybe it was made in France. But it's like, no, it was actually made in Germany. So. They don't know where it was made or who, or who built it, actually. It was made too long ago. The most they could do is torture the mechanics that, that knew how to service it. Long dead engineers. So, yep. Literally a priceless aircraft. And an aircraft of a creator that built 800 galaxies. Verifiable by that one over there. And this one. And that makes them... Like, those are aircraft that I literally designed myself and had built myself. I ordered them myself, and my engineers worked on them and built them. And not by America, nor the United States, nor Lockheed, nor Martin, but Germany. So anyway, <clears throat> and that makes them, like, like, of all the galaxies and all the places... Those were, you know, those were my personal toys. So, you know, it's like, <gasps> that's why a lot of people walked up to them and went, <gasps> and like got down on their knees and started praying and bowed to it because that is like the Holy Grail. It is they are like possibly 1,500 years old. And like I said, the half-life on those tires was 250 years. So they're, and they were cracked and flattened. So, and nearly falling apart. So they sat in that hangar for at least 200 years before 19 something, 1940 or something. So, you know, that's why JFK and all those others are liars. They didn't fly them until 1980 or 1990. So they sat in a hangar unforgotten about, forgotten to die for 500, for 500 to, to, to 1,500 years. It's like finding God. Some people, some people equated finding them to finding God, because like, <gasps> it's them, the legendary LSF seventy ones. Pretty cool. Huh?